and welcome back. In case you can't tell by my surroundings, if you can make that out in the dark, I am commercial fishing again today. I'm back out with my friend Tom on his boat Razor Bill out of New Haven and we're going to be trying for some Dover Sole this morning. So yesterday about five, six o'clock he shot away five fleets of nets. Now a fleet contains six nets in this case so it's basically uh, five individual, sorry, six individual nets put together to make one long fleet. There'd be an anchor at either end and then that's marked by what we call here on the south coast as dams, basically a bamboo pole with a flag on it and a little float. Uh, down west I think they call them enders but it's the same thing. And the way this is going to work is we're going to steam up to a net where he shot it, obviously he's got it all on his plotter, pick up one of the ends, put the net through the net hauler, take the fish out of the nets, put it back through the flaker and then we've got some weather coming today so the nets will probably be coming home. So the nets have been soaking for about 12-13 hours so what you're going to see today is the result of the nets being on the bottom for about 12-13 hours so you're going to see what's in there, what we catch like I said the primary target is Dover Sole but you will get some bycatch as we go along maybe some turbot, maybe some smooth hand if they're about and there's going to be, I expect, plenty of crab and plenty of seaweed so the nets you're going to see today, mostly trammels, uh, mono, so basically the same stuff that your monofilament fishing line is made out of. You've got a small inner wall, and then you've got bigger... So the boat's starting up, time's here. Um, then you've got a bigger outer wall, and the fish push themselves through it. So I'll try and explain it as I'm doing it, but that's the premise of a trammel net. Uh, one of them is a nylon net, so made of sort of braid material. Um, and he did haul yesterday, and he had a bit of seaweed. So. You might see a lot of seaweed today, but we are getting ready to rock and roll. Got a load of it, mate, and pulled it all in. That's what he's done. Brand new fleet shot over in there as well. Well, don't worry about it till you've hauled it up. It might, might be fine. Huh. Whipped up a bit in here, innit? A bit of surf. Exactly. You also got a slightly bigger tide though, you got more movement in it, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of weed though, innit? That's bad. Yeah. None of that. Yesterday I probably had half a dozen bits of that, that was it. You've been in the game long enough to know that's how it goes. Yeah. I've never had more than two days in here consecutive, but like in tight. Yeah. This is the outside one as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, Benny. Never mind, Thomas. Never mind. Swim out. Fucking piss out, mate. He must have blown his arse off last night. Good chance. Six salt and then a turbo. This day, we've got that. Good work, fellas. Good work. Good hustle. Alright, so first fleet's up. Um, we've a little altercation with someone else. Um, so, someone has shot a net over the top of our net, and the end of it, as you probably see in the camera, is all tangled up, anchors through it. Um, I won't name them because I'm not like that. I'm not going to do it. It's between the fishermen. 
but yeah, it's a bit of an altercation. Uh, a lot of weed, we've had maybe half a dozen sole and a little turbot, uh, maybe, maybe eight sole. They're good sizes, but there's not, not we wanted more. Uh, so we, ne we now can't see one of our dams. So we're gonna swing around, pick that one up. Hopefully it's not in too much of a mess, but the fish is good, there's not enough of it and a lot of seaweed. Yeah, it's gone right over your boat for them, hasn't he? That's his second fleet, he's all in. Yeah, yeah, I think it's too much slide there if we did without that, mate. Yep. They're a nice size, though, aren't they? Oh, it is, yeah. They're a nice size. Slowly, Wally! It's like that, shit ain't too bad, but that goes for the flaky, you'll lose a lot of that, won't you? No. Yeah, I reckon? I thought that yesterday. Oh, do not? Yeah, I the floor, I was like... Oh, <laughs> still clean. <laughs> a bit stickier, maybe. So, yeah, baby. See how I said about the better grain of salt now? Yeah, yeah, there you can clearly see it. Another one there, yeah, nice lapper coming through, look. Yeah, the other week, we had two or three of them a day, we getting yeah. excited, weren't we? Yeah. Love the fish. Lovely, look out, McFlurry! Ah, that spoke too soon. Yeah, that's all right, that'll ping out easy. Stretch of salt on that. That's a bear, isn't it? Look. I'm glad we grabbed that one first, not this one. Good one. Yeah. Oh, me boys, there we go. Put out there and go on. What have you done? It's a better one, this one. They're bigger sold, much bigger. Bad news first. Yeah, get the bad news out of the way. We you got, got three the other side of the harbour, you, yeah. You got, a 20, you got a 20 pound turbot sat the other side of that harbour wall. Um, Is that yours? That's his. That's his anchor? Yeah. Oh, there you go then. I told you it was up in you. Yeah. I can see that from a mile off. Not a pink ball in there, Ben. Look, the ball is hanging down. Yeah, I see him. I'll stick this chafer on top of one of your fleets, alright? Yeah, I'll bring the big one back. Love a bit of fishing there. Fishman always a fisherman, it doesn't matter how many years you're out in the game. Yeah. Too much tide there to be dimming about, mate. Yeah. Cut you off. Oh, I can see your other end now. Let's go pick the other end up and we're going to deal with him. See how that. Do it now, because that's going to be flapping around the. Oh, he is an angry man now. Get that in out of the way. What we've had is um, that net problem has actually got worse. So the second fleet of nets we picked up, the other boat has actually put his anchor in the net and cut the net away. So Tom's net is now in two halves. So Oscar's dealing with one half of it and Tom's gonna pick up the other half. And then there may well be some words said, but turning into a bit of a pickle now. So the joys of fishing. So the net was cutting half there. I won't go into the ins and outs of the politics and the drama. Essentially, someone has shot over the top of us. It's a shame because the fleet of gear that we had that we've now had to cut in half actually had some really nice Dover sole on it. Um, so you've had some lovely prime, what we call lapper sole, big doormat sole, which is actually, there's some bigger ones in there, but it's just a shame that that's had to happen and put a downer on it because we're joining these nets together now. But that's just made it a lot more hard work than it needed to be. But there was a bit of fish in it. A lovely prime Dover sole. Three more to haul. So what we've done is, I say we, what Oscar and Tom have done, 
is because we've got our new area now so we've had two fleets in one area and then we've got three in another we've set a new box out so yeah what we've done is you put a fresh box out even though the other one's not full just so we can see the different grade of fish uh, and how many they're in uh, in this one compared to the other area that way then you can compare one mark to another grade of fish number of fish just a little bit of a um, little bit of sort of a tip just to see what mark is fishing better now the it's a lot less so than a mono, isn't it? Say again? A lot less weed than a mono. Yeah. You'll catch more of that bladder rack, that harbour weed, but... Yeah. That red stuff don't stick, does it? Come on, Sal, where are you? Thing is, I have to have fish in the net for the seal to be a problem. <laughs> I don't think you've got that yet. <laughs> I see one Sal yet, are we? What's that coming through there, that herring? You're around now. Oh. Oh, we saw a herring for a minute. What's that there? So there you go. Finally. Ground there as well, because it's just come apart. What's that? Quite determined, eh? What is it? Good size. You got a quota for the undies? Yeah, I don't land them, though. You don't? Not worth the aggro, it's a minimum size or a maximum size, I don't know. Cheaters, not these. That's Painful. That's not sure. You've been to Afghan, mate. Alright. It's an easy meal. It's like sharks following a cruise boat, isn't it? They know it's going to happen at some point. Yeah. Working harder, harder, not smarter, smarter not harder, isn't it? Just outside it, just, uh, it. it all changes, doesn't it? One slight bit of tide, that's it, picks up, rolls, that's it, gone. How hard it must have blown last night. But you feel it now. It's picked up again now since we had that since we had that last conversation ten minutes ago about there being no wind, that's picked up again. There's one. It's probably pushed on the button, but we've gone south of it, Yeah. Come on, big old turbo, where are you? Yeah, I'll nice. top it up, anyway. Yeah. Little lump. I know it's it out, but just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a white belly come out, here we go. Yeah. Just, where, just where it pulls up. Story of my life, mate, wherever I've dipped it somewhere, it's always got me in trouble. Yeah. It's always red and smelly. <laughs> Okay, so obviously this this brill is going to go back. But the difference between the turbo and the brill, the turbo has the bumps on the back. And you see the shape is a bit more like a diamond. The brill's a bit more thinner, and the brill is smooth. And there's a bit of a colour differentiation as well. So bit of a bit of a sandy sandy brown, sorry sandy brown and a darker brown there. So there's a difference. This one's staying. He's over the size. This one's going back. Right. Kiss for Tom and I'm going back. There we go. That was all right, three bass with a little bit of wing, a few sail, turbo. It's a mix, isn't it? A bit cleaner this side, guys, a bit cleaner, not as much weed. You can see it's coming up a lot cleaner now. That's 
brace of flounder. I changed my net all the time, mate. This one, this one. Who doesn't like monos at all, is it? I've got a new spin, I've got a new solo one. Uh, not a solo one. No, That was probably the most commented thing actually when I put that last video up. Tom's got a soul there. In the interest of people saying that the size limit is too small, Tom went out the measure for us. There you go, sizeable. Done. They're the ones you want, these ones. They're the ones you want. Hey, Rich has come here, you got a nice pair of bass there, Rich, eh? Hey? Cheers, mate. Yeah, Thank nice you. pair of fish. Lovely. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. We're in the harbour now. I just want to touch on Dover sole sizes because last video I did with Tom, there was a lot of illegal fish and there was a lot of, a lot of comments on it. So, this sole here is probably the smallest sole we've got today. And it fits in the palm of my hand. Fish measure. The sole line is there. I'll, I'll double check the uh, minimum landing size, but I think it's 24 centimetres, but I'll, I'll check when I get in. Any fish that we're not sure about, it goes on the measure. Now, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do this stood up, so it's not going to work very well. But, he goes well over the, the size limit. He is well over. Now, if you compare that to some of the bigger sole we've got today, this is the ones we really want, what we call a lapper sole, big Dover sole. There's the size difference. They're not all this big. The small ones, they're still landable. We did put three or four back that were too small. So every fish we've had today has been measured, or if it's clearly not needed to be measured, it hasn't been. Anyone that's in doubt has gone on the measure. So there's no illegal fish in here whatsoever today. Everything there is all sizable. And this one here is absolutely lovely. I mean, that is a that is a lovely thick Dover sole, and that's the money sole. That's what we want. So, before anyone leaves any comments about it, hopefully you watched all the video and heard this. Perfectly, perfectly sizable fish for a Dover sole. Now, if that was a bass, obviously that would be going back. But every fish has different size limits. Hopefully that's cleared that up for you. That's the end of another amputee angler session. About half a box of soles, four bass, little turbot, Cut a skate and a few place. Like, really enjoyable day. The guys are really weeded out here. They've got a lot of seaweed in today, a lot of bladder rack, a lot of this red red arbor weed. Um, so they're gonna crack on and I'm gonna get home and have a cup of tea. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the videos, and I'll see you all again soon, guys.